Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 settings to change when you get Windows 10 for the first time. Or if you bought a brand new computer then um, settings that you should change. Um, before I get into it, um, just take a moment and don't forget to subscribe and like and check out any of my other videos. All right, so let's get started. Coming in at number one, we're going to go to system. So here you're gonna to go to start, and then settings, low wheel. And then from here, we're going to go to system. And then from here, we're gonna to go to display, which are already here. And under scale and layout, we're just gonna to go to 100 how it's recommended. Sometimes uh, I've had it where it was 125, which is obviously you can tell that it's a little weird and some apps are not, won't be able to um, scale it out. So what you wanna do is 100, just to have a nice little layout like this. Perfect. So that's number one. All right, so coming in at number two, we're gonna go back to the home. And then from here, we're going to go to system. And then we're gonna go back to storage. And then from here, it's gonna show all the different storage, um, local storages that you have. And from here, you're gonna wanna go storage sets. And from here, I'm gonna click this on, and this will, in fact, get rid of any um, files that you currently aren't using or that you never used before, and it'll just free up some space for you. Which is very convenient rather than going through, let's say, your files, and um, if you're having a hard time trying to get rid of some, then it'll just free up some space for you. And also another cool feature is that it'll actually just go into the recycling bin. So if for whatever reason, it does end up deleting a file that you uh, that you still want, then you can just go in the recycling bin and recover it that way. All right, coming in at number three, we're gonna go to home. And then from here, we're gonna wanna scroll down to update and security. From update and security, we're gonna go to advanced options. And then from here, we're gonna find delivery optimization. Hit that. And then from here, we're gonna wanna hit this one off. Um, the reason you wanna do, the reason why you wanna turn it off is because, let's say one of the computers on the same network that you're on, so on your connection that you have at home, let's say it has an update, um, then your computer that you're working on can take a partial of that update and start downloading it. And of course, the second option as well is not very good because you can actually also get other people's computers information to update yours, which is not good because some people obviously have, you know, different viruses and different kind of programs and whatnot um, that can screw up your computer. So you wanna definitely stay away from this one. So we are 100% turning this one off. All right, coming in at number four, we're gonna go to home. And then from here, we're gonna wanna go to network and internet. From here, we're gonna go to Wi-Fi. And then we're gonna right here, scroll down, and we're gonna turn this off. The reason we wanna turn this off is because certain public places have uh, obviously Wi-Fi available, as you can see, like airports, hotels, and cafes. But this isn't very safe because the network is obviously not very secure. 
in public places and um, there are better chances of you getting your information stolen or uh, or hacked and whatever taken. And honestly, that's the worst feeling ever is getting your credit card or your identity stolen and just don't let that happen. Coming at number five, we're gonna wanna go to back to the home. And then here we're gonna wanna scroll down and go privacy. From privacy, we're gonna stay on the general. And here we're gonna wanna flick all of these off because basically this lets Windows track your apps and basically anything that you do on the computer in order to drive you know, advertisements and whatnot. So we're gonna wanna hit all of these off. Which can be obviously very frustrating and quite frankly, kind of annoying that they're gathering all our information that we have when we think that they should be not tracking us. They are, in fact. That's why we want to turn off all of these. Just peace of mind. Coming in at number six. So this one's going to be a two parts. Uh, two part one. And from here, we're going to want to stay in the privacy settings. And then we're going to want to go to speech. And then from here, we're going to want to hit this off. This is where Cortana, um, you can speak to her. Um, basically, it just tracks everything you do. And say to her, and it'll give you... Basically, just tracks you. Um, and the next one is going to be inking and type typing person and personalization from here we're going to want to hit off as well this will track your um, typing history and basically tracks everything that you do on the computer into a folder and then it'll try to recognize specific patterns that you have which I don't know about you but I would rather just have it off so then don't have to deal with any of the tracking and whatnot. Coming in at number seven. So here we're going to go to, we're going to stay in this privacy settings as well. Diagnosis and feedback. And here um, we're going to want to just hit basic. Um, this basically, again, tracks everything that you do and all the information gets sent to Windows. If you hit full, um, then it sends it to them and they do all their analysis and whatnot from what they gathered from your computer. But I think I'd rather just do basic just so that they don't need to know everything that I'm doing. Um, all right. Coming at number eight, we're gonna go to home, and then we're gonna actually stay in privacy, sorry. And then we're gonna go down to location, and from location, we're gonna just change, and then we're gonna switch it off. Mine's already off, and this one's pretty self-explanatory. You obviously don't wanna be tracked while you're, uh, while you're on your computer or at your house or whatever. Also, I switch this off as well. This will allow app, allow apps to access your location as well. Um, if you do want to um, enable your location for specific apps, you can actually go down here and then you can just turn it on to whichever one you want to have on, which can be very handy for, um, specific apps that you want, like weather or whatnot, right? All right. All 
All right, coming at number nine, we're going to turn off all of Cortana's um, settings. So how you do that is you hit her and then you go settings from here. It'll come up as type of Cortana. And then from here, you're gonna just wanna hit off and off. And also you're gonna hit off for this one. This can actually um, can actually be very bad because um, people can actually access some of your um, information through Cortana. Um, so you want to obviously have that off just to make sure that there's no vulnerability on your computer. All right, for number two. 10. Drum roll, please. We are going to go to, we're going to X this, and then in the search, we're going to want to go to, we're going to want to type in file, explore options. From here, we're going to want to hit this, click that, and then we're going to want to go to view. From view, we're gonna to wanna to go down and we're gonna to wanna to hit uncheck hot extensions for known file types. So this is gonna be for all your um, documents. So all your Microsoft Word, your doc, docx. Um, it's gonna be JPG for pictures, um, PNG, you name it. It's gonna all show up now which is gonna make your life a lot easier rather than going, you know, right clicking, which can be annoying and then properties and then seeing what file, or, like what thing it is. So if that was actually a bad example. So here we're just gonna go properties. And then here, there you go, file type. But now it will actually tell you exactly what file it is, which is very nice and convenient, of course. So you can also do other settings here, you know, display file size, show hidden files, hide empty drives, sure. And then you can just go through this entire thing and see what, what your preference is. All right, and just one more thing. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, of course, you gotta hit apply and okay. There we go. Um, see, and then right here, I was totally wondering why it wasn't working at first. There you go. And it'll just show every single file type, just like that. All right. Uh, if you can just take one more second and just like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to keep teching on.